get it out there to the apex and let it fall back down. Well, this is a wonderful putt. You got to be creative on these greens. He does a pretty good job with that. That, that is a good effort mm -hmm. there. With got to go. Got to hit that putt. It's hard to do it, though. Man, he had the line. That would have been an incredible birdie. Any kind of momentum. Graduated carry as the ball works to the right, and this has got to get up just a bit. Pretty straightforward, pretty flat putt. That should do it. So Ross Steelman, the 20-year-old from Columbia, Missouri, taking down Ricky Castillo, three and two, and he will move on. What a run it has been for Steelman here so far this week. There's that little cut. Center of the green. Nice play. Yeah, smart play. I'm gonna go left to this whole location. And this is left. This yeah. is actually going to miss the bunkers left. Well, he was set up with his shoulders and his feet squared. If you're trying to hit a little bit of a cut shot, that was not the setup. Six holes to go in this match. Four down. Bridgman. Playing left here, trying to use the slope. But with the moisture in the greens, that's not going to boomerang back towards the hole as it probably would have earlier in the week. Grease here at 13 for birdie to win the hole. Straight up the hill, turning left. Did he? Yes, he did. Yeah. Wow, what a fun. Thick lie from 58 yards, but plenty of green to work with. Just trying to pop something on the green. This ball should roll out a good 30 or 40 feet. Yeah, that's really well done there. You can see great angle from over there in the right rough. Greaser seemingly doing everything right. No, and that can certainly happen in match play. Uh, you know, you can win some matches, maybe not with your best, and there's other times when you can play some really good golf and... That some of these guys don't get the work done on their short game they should. Have you seen some of that? I have, Bones. I think that, uh, you know, we watched Dustin Johnson reach number one in the world through his wedge game. Uh, you know, he drives it, as you said, nine miles. Why take two when you can do it in one? Well, you know, what can your hope players are hoping to be a long week when you can cruise to a match six and four, especially here in the round of 16 towards the end of the week. Uh, quick putt here. Not a lot of break because he's coming almost straight down the hill. Oh, beautiful putt. Saw so him make a similar putt down the hill at the 10th. So Travis Vick is feeling very confident on these greens. Getting it done around the greens. Oh, nice save there. Victory. This is his second here at the par four. Just aggressive play off the tee. Took the bunkers out down the right out of play. Now with a very manageable easy angle here. Uh, plenty of green to work with Noda. Just didn't hit it hard enough. Yeah, there's a little area right in the midway of the putt where it goes back up the slope and should turn to the left. And another one comes up short. It makes it harder to pick up the little subtleties when you get on a flatter green like here at the 14th. He can be aggressive with this. He needs it. Yeah, missed opportunity there for Islas. So par is conceded to both players. Vic maintains that lead as they head to 15. I don't think he can spin it that much from this distance. I think he sort of has to lay it out just a little left, trying to do that, and it's cutting just a bit. Very nice. No, you didn't see real multi-sport athletes, and you probably see it even less now. Kids tend to specialize a little earlier in their athletic career. So nice to see such a well-rounded athlete really choosing to focus in on golf. That's a good putt. We'll press on. Wind has picked up. Going to take a good pop here to get this close. 
And that is just the perfect line with a three up lead. And that's going to find that false front. It's going to trickle down to the front edge of the green. So needed another maybe four or five paces out of that, but not the hardest two putt in the world. No option but to go right at it. This one started at the left edge and working a little bit back toward the hole. Wow. Oh, that's deep too. A little bit of a pull and looks like it settled down a little bit in the bunker. Nearly 10 years later as we watch Travis Vick, two putts to move on. Yeah, and it, you're right. It probably started with there with Jordan Spieth and you get a number of great players coming to your program. Uh, people want to come play because they realize they're going to have a great chance to win a national championship. No, no that's no, going to be it's, it. Uh, that's all she wrote, guys. Game, set, and match. Travis Vick moves on. This for birdie to tie the hole, and he could certainly use it. Pie it two up in the match. And make that three up for James Pyatt. So we're seeing a lot of these blowouts, if you will, here in the round of 16. A lot of close ones. The first couple of sets of uh, matches in the round of 64 and 32. So Pyatt here at the 13th. First to go. A little three-quarter swing. That's out to the right, but he's three up in this match. Might catch the front portion of the green. That's okay right there. Crew with you as we send it over to 13 with Jim Gallagher Jr. Thanks, Steve. That was James Pyatt. It's a pay, make par here at the 13th to tie the hole. He's three up in this match over Thomas Hutchinson. We're up to 14. Second shot here at the par four. This is James Pyatt, 22 year old, Michigan State. Just 133, typically a wedge, but. He's going to go with a 9-9 here, try and control his spin. And a little bit of wind in and off the right. And he's done a nice job controlling the spin there, Bones. Yeah, he's choked up, down on this. He's going to try and hit a little kind of three-quarter wedge, take a little bit of the spin off of it. <laughs> Got to get up. Boy, I, I think he just didn't take that as far back as he really needed to. For it to touch the hole and going that slowly and not drop is, uh, that should be illegal. Craig Winter, the question's been posed as we watch Pyatt. Oh, look at Pyatt roll that in, but want to bring in Craig Winter from the USGA. If that putt was conceded to Hutchinson. Bones. Yeah, serious lip issues here. So just going with a six degree wedge. This is hit well, but heading towards the left rough. Well, if you're going to lay up, lay up. But that lays it up in the left rough. Playing very quickly. Of course, he's got a lot of momentum, feeling very good about his game at the moment. Nice strike here. Needs to get up just a hair. And they get the club selection wrong in terms of the wind. Helped out by the fact that Pyatt got his club selection all wrong. It's a good 65 feet short of the flag. His next one will be. So really feed off to the right. Yeah, you just got to get it up on that slope on the left. I feel putt, but just okay. And putter out, but he's going to go steep now with the wedge, trying to skip something. Playing a lot of left to right break here. Grew up in the Midwest, plays on this type of grass. That's a big advantage, I think, coming in here. Growing up on this type of grass, the greens, fairways. He had some really good saves at eight and nine, but he's just kind of grinding it out. Just doesn't have quite his stuff. Pyatt's been really been solid today. We might see a concession here. I'm thinking we will. He's looking over. No, nope, not yet. Denied. Yeah. <laughs> L A G. <laughs> Capital L A G. And that match will end. Five, five, five. four and three over Hutchinson. This is at 12. Grayson Blunt in a world of trouble against Brian Stark. Stark four up in this match. Now oh, that's a great effort there from above the hole. 
but he needs those to start going in and quickly. And looking to continue it here against Brian Stark. But the way Stark is playing, Blunt, a huge hill to climb. But we've seen stranger things happen. On the putting surface, because if it starts turning in either direction, the wind just eats it up. Tracer technology is brought to you by Lexus, the official vehicle of the SJ. Beautiful shot in there. Trying to bring it in from right to left. May have overcooked it just a little. All right, caught the green. Good shot. Okay, good solid stroke. What a good birdie that match will end right here at the 13th. Six and five for Stark. Some solid play. He will play Vic, so that ought to be a lot of fun to watch that match too this afternoon. This for birdie to go one up in his match against Van Holmgren. And this is a big breaker from his right to left. See where he's aiming. He's outside the hole here. Nicely done. Yeah, great three by Matthew. Yeah, big breaker here from his left to right. He's aiming outside the hole. Oh, just carry too much pace for it to break enough. And comebacker for par now. Van Holmgren does the same, so that one going to remain tied. 13th Sharpstein for par to win the hole here at the par three. Just tied. Holmgren. How to go left. Oh, wow. Couple holes in a row. Jimmy's yeah. had some chances to win a hole. Absolutely. Over at 14, second for Sharpstein. Great angle here from the right edge of the fairway. Oh, yeah. And really well done. Some other players trying to join him. Sharpstein for birdie to win the 14th. Yeah, he's had some opportunities to get out in front in this match. Hasn't cashed in yet, and he doesn't here either. Three straight holes, Justin. Sharpstein has had reasonable looks. That's a tough putt to have to make for par. Head over to 16. Holmgren one up. Sharpstein five. He's taking his four iron. Just trying to hold something off, get it to work back toward the hole. Not bad. Pretty good shot there. Yeah, good shot. Took care of the front, false front. Well done. This is a pretty safe shot well left yeah, it looked like he was maybe trying to get a little too much out of that club and over hooked it up to 16 second for sharpstein caught a decent lie here should be able to slide the club underneath not the worst effort just a very difficult shot that's the best we've seen from that bunker so far today Justin. yeah as it still chases out to a good 20 feet but that left bunker is very firm players have struggled with it just needs to manage the pace. And as you said, just right of where the caddy is standing there is a little bit of a ridge and it needs to just drip over that and gravity will do the rest. And for a big man, he's got some soft hands. A couple nice lag putts there, last two holes. one to go and it's one that he had to have that is huge right there what a putt by Sharpstein there at 16 to remain one down of this green you want to keep it right even that front right bunker isn't the worst place if you draw a decent lie not a problem for Holgram to get this near the green that should be okay down the left, gonna try and peel something back into this wind, which is coming out of the right. Yes. 
Started off a little further right than he wanted. He's leaning, he's bagging a little. Yeah, both players in the bunker, so we're gonna have a little sand competition here, but that's the place to miss it if you're gonna miss it. Oh, chuck and roll, this is a good looking shot. Very nice. Excellent. Advantage Sharpstein. Pretty solid throughout the bag. Haven't seen him hit a bunker shot yet, but has really nice touch with the putter. It's gonna take an aggressive effort here. He's got a great lie. Very short back swing yeah, he sure there. was, yeah. That's probably I didn't quite get the spin. How well, about that fringe behind it, whether it'll bother him any? Yep, good call, no good read, and not by Holmgren, but by you, but that's just, uh, I think that bunker shot to Sharpstein, yep, just put that pressure back on him. Yeah, Sharpstein to win the hole. Yeah, I think about half the time this putt would have been conceded, but certainly not now. Mm -hmm. All right, oh man, just one in his direction. Big putt at 16 for par to tie the hole. Yeah. Ties the match up here. But he cannot play at the green. Yeah, this is just a blast shot, Noda. I think he went back all the way back to the sand wedge. Make sure he got it out. Good looking golf swing right here if it gets back there. And it does. Beautiful shape there. Gets it on the proper portion of this green in the back right. Great shot. It's falling just a little to the right. That's a pretty good shot. That yeah, should do it. Now that's a, just a great comeback by Matthew Sharpstein. Let's go over to 10, 19 year old Nick Gabrelsik. Sophomore to be at the University of North Florida. Short one gives him the lead yet again in this back and forth match against Hugo Townsend. Kaprelsik now is to win the hole. He's done it. He's sloppy on this hole, but nonetheless, it's a win. He'll go two up over Townsend. Pretty good about his chances right now. Hugo Townsend here, 13th to win the hole. Oh, it just snuck out to the left. Two down as they head over to 14. There has not been a birdie made in this match yet, so let's get that done. Looking for some spin now off that ridge we talked about earlier, but once again, the ball just sits up on top of it, as it would be if these had, greens had any fire to them. So just take dead aim. Good looking shot. Just a little short. Back to 14. You go Townsend for birdie. Tough read here up and over a ridge. Oh, beautiful putt there, Bones. Birdie. To do so, Pebble Beach three years ago. Now, Gabrelsik for birdie to tie the hole. So Townsend wins the hole. There's finally a birdie. They can go into the clubhouse and have a proper lunch. I like it. Unless you hit it heavy. That hit the pew. His opponent's golf bag fell down while he was over the shot, so we've got it all going on over here. <laughs> it's tough here at Oakmont. And that's going to get tougher. Well, that's pretty fortunate for it to, to skip up the way it did and get that far down the fairway. Yeah, it just caught it towards the top third of the pew right in front of him. Took all the spin off of it, came out really tumbling. Huge moment now for Townsend, who certainly won the last hole to get with it, just one down. If he puts this on the green, 
from 179. He is right back in this thing, but this is a very poor shot. Oh, my goodness. Into the center of the right bunker right. at a time where he really had a chance to kick in the door. Yeah, that wasn't very good at all. You got all that room out there to the left. Maybe a little bit of nerves coming down here. That is pressure pack coming down these last few holes in a tight match. Feed off just a little shy, but but going up the hill, just average from that distance and out of that rough. Starts right, staying right. It looks like it missed the front bunker there. Good looking shot. Let's see if it carries the front bunker. That wasn't even close, and I think those guys just didn't want to go hybrid or lumber here, and I don't blame them. Yeah, just an average chip, but he's got the easier of the two par putts, even though it's longer. This back up the hill. Gabralsic played a wonderful bunker shot just to get something with seven or eight feet, but it's down the slope. Play works. There's definitely a lot of luck involved in terms of who you play. Good up and down there by Nick Gabrelsic. Yeah, that's a big putt after giving away the 15th. Nick's one up, two to go. Leaving some 60 footer for Eagle, so Townsend is gonna have to respond now. Responds pretty oh well. Oh my goodness say. gracious. <laughs> Stay. That is one heck of it actually bounced off the first cut now. Just a few inches. He's got a very makeable eagle putt. What a response. But let's tip our hats to both these guys for hitting amazing tee shots here on 17. This back up the hill working a little bit left. Wonderful pace. Mm -hmm. A little bit uphill, slight left to right break. Okay, they'll play on. Stick with that one up lead, head to 18. Does it? This has got plenty of speed on it, heading for the center of the green. Great shot. Now there's a little slope there off the edge. It should get a little better. Slow it down, feed it back. Pin high. Wonderful shot there. Good looking shot. Oh, fantastic shot. Gets it inside of about five feet below the hole. That's the perfect place to putt from. It was tracking, had a chance to close things out right there. How good is that three? Uh, that's just phenomenal. I mean, pressure golf, these players have struggled in this match, as Bones has talked about. But the way they played these last two holes, uh, just phenomenal. And so now they'll head over to the 10th tee to win that match. Extra holes, Townsend on the 10th, the 19th hole, his tee shot on the way. Oh, no, and he's found one of the fairway bunkers down the right-hand side. Not sure if he'll be able to reach the green from there. No problem with this club. This looks really good. And that is miles down there. It'll feed over to the left-hand side of the fairway. But way to seize an opportunity there off the tee. Uh, yeah, anything, send it way up in the air, land it right around the front edge. It's a good looking shot for line. Carries past the hole, and as you said, that's going to feed all the way to the back part of the green. Time to get ultra aggressive from 122, but that sounded very heavy. But he gets away with it. Oh, oh beautiful does. shot. Boy, did that turn out well. 
and just wrap it up the hill. Really well done, but might not be enough. All right, he did what he can do. Another one's moving on, 19-year-old Nick Gabrelsic, sophomore at the University of North Florida, a winner in 19 holes. Last round of 16 match on the golf course, this is the 12th, Devin Bling. This for birdie to go three up. Oh, it had enough, Justin. Yeah, just, drip, just dripping five. pace, Mr. which Blank is exactly four. what you want to have. Bling first here, a couple par putts, here's the par three. Coming down the slope, three up in this match, just kind of easing it down there. And it does go over to the right, as it always does on this green. It's just tricky. You kind of feel like everything's going to come off the bunker, but it doesn't. There's actually the green goes the other direction. Three down in this match. There you go. Two putt from the front portion, portion of the green, so it cuts the lead to two down. Yeah, they beat him. Here's Chatfield. Beautiful tee shot. He's making a rally here, one thirteen and 14. And a good chance of 15. What a ball. Oh, look at this shot. <laughs> Don't ever quit. Because of the thickness. And Jim, that was a dangerous shot. Devin had been dealing with some right wrist issues. Finally, earlier this summer, had a cyst removed from it. Mm. The pain was gone. Not enough pace, enough break. Four, Mr. Bling five, so he has lost the five. last three holes. And this match is now tied heading to 16. Things got a little bit interesting. Davis Chatfield obviously feeling it. A lot of momentum. See if he can pour in another one. That's going to come up short. Nope. Four straight. For Davis Chatfield. Chatfield, three. Chatfield down at 17. He laid up yesterday. Looks like he's doing it again, Noda. Yeah, I'm going to bring home this final match here. Got to find this in the fairway. It is drifting just a tad right. Coming back now to the left. Yeah, Nestle's down. He'll have some green to work with, but needs to get that in the fairway if you're going to lay it up. Hung back just a little on it, so maybe going. It's headed left. Yeah, that's what happens when you hang back on it. And he has short sided himself on the down slope. Nestle's down. Tane gave his caddy a little fist pump, got a little bit of confidence there, won that hole, then 114, 15, 16. And that's all he's looking to do here is put something on the surface, and that oh, is not oh, it. No, my. All the way that, to the back part of the bunker. Huge mistake. That is a monumental error right there. I don't see him being able to get this inside 10 feet, even if he hits it good. He's got it wide open. I like to get that club a little more level to get a little less grass on it, but all in all, not bad, I guess. Well, you, you play the situation, yep. right? True. Now, now he's put the onus on Chatfield to get up and down. Third shot now for Chatfield. Just no green to work with there, and that's the best he could do. Yeah. You want to expect your opponent to uh, to make putts like these. Uh, it's a good roll from some 35 feet. Yeah, a couple mistakes off the tee that happens, but then that second shot was just you cannot do what he did. Oh, Bling's got this left now to win the hole. All right, this match is now tied as they head to 18. 
A long way left for Chatfield here. 221 to the whole uphill, probably playing closer to 230. This coming in low. I don't know if he got all of it. He's going to need a big skip. Yeah, it's going to find that low area. It's just going to get to the top. It's going to come back to that little low area in kind of the middle right part of this green. But a good shot from that far back. Oh, got a little quick on this. This is headed left. Uh, just catches the back portion of the green. That'll come back a little bit. Not the easiest of putts there, but probably a little bit of an advantage. And we've also seen this putt before, and it breaks sharply to the right as the ball loses speed. Really nicely done. Yeah, that's a beautiful effort from there. Oh, and he'll have some some work left here. It's a disappointing finish and a really disappointing back nine for Devin Bling, but for Davis Chatfield, what a comeback. Every hole on the back nine was won or lost, not a tied hole on those final nine.